In this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you how to kern in Photoshop. So kerning is kind of like letter spacing, except a letter spacing or tracking is the spacing between all of the letters in a block of text or a paragraph of text, whereas kerning is the spacing between individual letters. So you might notice here, we've got quite a bit of space between this E and this R, and it's actually just one spot here. So it's not like I can highlight this. This isn't a space. This is just improperly spaced out. So we need to adjust the kerning between this E and R. So we're going to open up the character panel and go to window down to character. And then that should pop out over here. It might even be docked over here by this A icon. You could click on that also. And we have two spots for spacing here. Number one, this spot right here is tracking. So, at, you know, since we don't have anything highlighted, it's not going to actually do the tracking here. But this is the letter spacing between all of the letters all at once. So I would probably start here with tracking to, you know, if you highlight everything, you can adjust the tracking. So the space in between all of the letters, or you can then click between letters, like clicking between this E and R, and right here is your kerning. So you can set the kerning between two characters. In this case, it's set to 200. I'm going to bring that back to zero. And so that helps bring the spacing of two characters together. And then we can adjust the spacing of all the characters with tracking. And you have some set options here or metrics or optics or optical, I should say. Uh, some different things you can select that are more like auto. But if you do make those adjustments, uh, you can make them here by typing in the number or by using your up and down arrow keys to kind of kern uh, between letters. So if I wanted to bring the E uh, back a little bit, we could do that. So you can, you know, kind of customize how these letters all fit together. Now there's a kind of a quirky thing, and I don't know if you noticed it when I just clicked between the K and the E. Right now I have this highlighted as negative 40, and that is between the K and the E. If I actually click on another spot, I think it will apply that same negative 40 to the other spot. So we're going to click between the E and the R right now. Yep, it applied the negative 40 over there, just because it was highlighted over here. So if you don't want it to do that, you can undo that. And if it was highlighted, you could just make sure to like click off or press the tab key or uh, even the escape key, I think will back you out of that text box. And then when you click on another spot, it won't apply the same kerning to it accidentally. So sometimes that's kind of an accident, but this is how you can kern between letters and adjust the spacing between individual letters with this little dialog box right here in the character panel.